Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you with me here. Once again, you're with the mighty Roaring Pigeon 71, also known as Gator Unleashed. You might wonder what in the hell is old Gator into here? This ain't got nothing to do with an army tank or a pistol or a shotgun or a rifle. It ain't got nothing to do with the possible overpenetration of a nine millimeter round or any other round. My copper pipe in my house just kept springing pinholes. You can see on that outer piece there. Every one of those little green spots was a drip. <clears throat> and you can imagine how annoying that's been. So anyway, I took the weekend, all the copper pipe came out, and I replaced it with CPVC, uh, which seems to be... I got, a, I got a journeyman plumber's license in the early 90s. CPVC is great. People go on now about this new stuff, this Plex. And yeah, Plex is fine if you're in a situation where freezing is a problem. It will expand and, stre and stretch rather than burst. That's its appeal. Uh, however, in my basement, it's never going to be below freezing. And also with Plex, the fittings are extremely outrageously high. Um, and then something else to consider is if you've got a, a fitting in a place that's going to freeze, the fitting does not swell it's just going to bust so you're still going to have a major problem so anyway i chose to go with cpvc which is what i used for years helping a master plumber in the early 90s when i was just a kid it's still there today all that plumbing is no problems it lasts forever but anyway i'm going to tune in over here to the uh finished product now that right there guys up here a little closer that is a shark bite fitting don't have to have any sorter it'll connect any type of pipe cpvc plex cpvc uh, copper that goes through into uh, the part of the house that doesn't have the full base but the addition uh, and that's that copper doesn't have any pin holes thankfully Had to change this all. Now the other side, the other copper pipe was fine. And what's strange is the cold side, the cold side is where the leaks was. But I ran this CPVC this weekend. Quite the project, I'll just tell you. I see why plumbers make so much money. It's just nothing about it is easy. Even the most simple things will turn out to be much more than what you expected. And right there is another one of the shark bite fittings. And this piece, this was the only piece of hot water that had a problem. And the straight line is no problem. It's when you get to all these T's and stuff is where the problem lies. There you can see the old copper, you see the green. You can see that green stuff even here on these. Another little section that I haven't got removed, but all that was leaks, all those green spots was leaks. So I've got it changed now. New CPVC. You can run CPVC right to the top of your hot water heater now. So no problems there. I am gonna put a, I am gonna put a disconnect in there though for the water heater i realized that water heater was put in in 2012 i put it in that had to be changed much before long so put this in this morning i skipped the washer somehow so i had to run cut the water off turn the water heater off anytime you shut your water off shut your water heater off actually shut your water heater off first uh, if the water heater tank loses the water it'll blow the heating elements so uh, always turn your hot water off first your electricity to it off of course, you need to do that anyway, anytime you fool around a water heater. Um, but then I had to drain the water out again, which, I mean, it ain't the end of the world. I'm letting that cure now. But yeah, I got to, All of this was just leaking, dripping, aggravating as it could be. And I went back to... This stuff here had no problems. 
So anyway, just a little video, guys. Sorry I haven't been around. I've got plenty coming. I ain't quit. I have been banned. I've been banned because YouTube said that uh, my video saying that an AR-15 rifle, uh, that the AR stood for Armor Light Rifle, uh, you, according to YouTube, that's misinformation. Um, anybody with a first grade education uh, understands that the AR-15 was built and designed and named after an Armor Light Rifle. Um, so YouTube's full of shit. But uh, they're the ones in power. Uh, but they're not going to make me say shit. They're not going to make me lie. I tell the truth. If they don't like it, they can eliminate me from YouTube completely. Guys, y'all have a great day. Take care. See you on the next video.